No. Oh, you must be. I just smashed you. Where did I get you? In the head. In the head? Oh, God. Uh, are you okay? Well, well, is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Well, I'm gonna go get you some ice. No, no I, I, I can't feel things like that. Like what? <laughs> like when I get smashed in the head with an ironing board. I don't get hurt. What? I can't feel pain. Jeez, I'm crow. What the hell have I done to you? Nothing. Listen to you going all loopy about not being able to feel pain. That's delusional. I knocked the sense right out of you. I'm, oh, I'm fine. No, listen, I was going to be a nurse, so I know. You just took a good shot to the head and and that's serious. So when that happens, <laughs> no, then... it's not serious. You see, I don't really think an ironing board could do that to your head. Because you see, ironing boards aren't on my list of things to, that can hurt you. What is this? Plus, there's no blood or discoloration from where I got hit, so... Well, you can be And my list is pretty reliable, because, you see, my brother Paul is helping me make it, and I can prove it to you. You see, I bet if I took this ironing board, like this, and I hit you with it, that it wouldn't hurt. See? Ow! That didn't oh! hurt. Oh, God, oh, what the oh, hell was did, that? Did that hurt? Ow! Oh, oh, that, that oh. hurt, didn't it? You see, I, I didn't think it would, because, you see, ironing boards aren't on, on my list of things to be afraid. What are you talking hurt. about? Uh, I have a list of things that can hurt you, and, and ironing boards aren't on it. Well, that ironing board hurt me. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> so you should put it on your list. Yeah. Oh, uh, should I be afraid of ironing boards? Well, if someone swings it at your head and wallops you with it, then yes. Well, it's not. I, I have a list of things to be afraid of, too, and ironing boards aren't on this list, either. Well. They shouldn't be, really. No? No, you shouldn't be afraid of ironing boards. But, but they can hurt you. Yes. So I should be afraid of them. No. So I shouldn't be afraid of them. Right. But they can hurt you. Well, if they're used in the way you use them, then yeah. Oh, so, so they're kind of like the opposite of God. What? Well, you see, ironing boards can hurt me, but I shouldn't be afraid of them. But God, my brother Paul says, God won't hurt me, but I should fear him. I guess. Oh boy, this is getting really complicated. <laughs> what is? This business of learning what hurts, what doesn't hurt, what to be afraid of, what not to be afraid of. Are you sure you're okay? Because I hit you really oh, hard oh, and you yeah, just I have crazy. congenital analgesia. Some people. What? Congenital analgesia. Some people call it hereditary sensory neuropathy type 4, but it essentially means I, I can't feel pain. You can hit me if you want to. See? No. Oh, come on. It won't hurt. See? Ow! See? Ow! See? Ow! Come on. No! Come on! No! Come on! No! All right, you don't have to. Most people don't. Hit me. Most people just go away. Uh, you can go away, too, if you want to. That, that's what most people do when I, I tell them about myself. My brother Paul says I, I shouldn't tell people about myself because I scare them, so I've actually recently added myself to the list of things to be afraid of, but... You hit I'm me! So sorry. No, yeah, most people yeah. just go away, oh, but yeah. you actually hit me. See, but are you okay? Yeah, I don't feel oh, pain. Yeah, I don't feel pain. Of course you're okay, but are you sure? <laughs> well, is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Well, buddy, you can be hurt and not even look like Wait, it. Wait, what? Trust me. There are things in this world that hurt you and leave you bloodied and bruised, and there are things that hurt you that don't leave you bloodied and bruised, and they both hurt. I'm Marvel. Oh, I'm Steve. I live in the third floor, room 11. I live with my boyfriend, Eric. I love him very much. Yeah, we saw you move in. Oh, uh, yeah, our roof collapsed from all the snow back in December, so we're just here until we can get our feet back on the ground. Oh, that's nice. That's what Ma Dudley likes to call her boarding house. A place for people to live until they get their feet back on the ground. You know, my brother Paul says we've been trying to get our feet back on the ground our whole lives. Oh. Yeah, it takes some people longer to do that than others. Yeah. You guys are loud. Huh? Y you and Eric, you yell and bang. We're right below you. Oh, uh, we're going through a rough patch. Happens. Sorry. What's it like? What? To not feel pain? I don't know. I don't really know what it's like to hurt, so I don't know. I don't really feel. Was it 
something you were born with? Yeah, I, I don't have fully developed pain sensors. They're, they're immature, my brother Paul says. Wait, how does he oh, know that? He reads. Yeah, and because but... they're immature, my development as a human being has been retarded, he says. Yeah, but But he it's... teaches me what hurts. Why? So I don't ruin myself. I have to know what hurts, so I know when to be afraid. You see, my mind can't tell me these things because my body doesn't know what being hurt is. So I, I have to memorize what might hurt. Okay. And I have to memorize things to be afraid of. Things like, like bears and, and fire and, and guns and knives and, and fear. <laughs> I should fear fear itself. And pretty girls and... Pretty girls? Yeah. <clears throat> Why should you fear pretty girls? Well, you see, my brother Paul says they hurt you because they make you fall in love with them. And, and that's something I'm, I'm supposed to be afraid of too. Love. My brother Paul says I'm really lucky because I'm probably never going to have to deal with love due to my many deficiencies and not many capacities as a result of the congenital analgesia. Wait, what do you mean you're never going to have to deal with love? B because I'm never going to know what it feels like. Yeah, but how does he know that? Because it hurts. It shouldn't. Well, well plus, I have a lot of deficiencies and not many capacities. Well, you know what? A lot of people do. I'm sorry. I I'm so sorry. Are, are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh, well, is there any blood? <laughs> no. A any discoloration? No. Then, then I'm okay. Yeah. You are. I I'm sorry I did that. It's just you're very sweet <laughs> and it was... You have a boyfriend. Yes, I do. And you love him very much. Yes, I do. A and it's Friday night and you're doing your laundry. Yes, I am. And, and people who are in love with each other, they don't do their laundry on Friday nights. I've learned that. People who are in love with each other, they, they go to the moose patty on Friday nights, or, or they go dancing, or they go skating, and they kiss each other. They don't kiss other people. You know, I don't really think that's love, what, what you and Eric have. You know what, I, I gotta go. Wait, what? He doesn't like it when I'm down here longer who? than I said. My boyfriend. Oh, Eric. Yes. Who you love very much. Yes. Even though you kissed me. Yes. Oh, boy, am I gonna have to talk to my brother Paul no, about don't. this? No, don't. Tell him to stop teaching you. Wait, what? Whatever it is he's teaching you isn't something you want to know. Trust me, I was going to be a nurse, so I know. You need to go see a doctor and not listen to whatever it is your brother's teaching you. But, but, but I have to learn from you him. You know what? I gotta go. Right. You, you've gotta go. That's, that's what people do. No, I, I told you, Eric, he doesn't your like it. Your boyfriend? Yes. He doesn't like it when I'm down here longer than I said I'd be, and... I've been down here longer than I said I'd be. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! I can't believe I did that to you again! I. Wait! What did you say? 